Hey guys, Fat Man here. Um, so this video is a lot of stuff. Um, just to cover up what happened from my last night's video, my uh, last um, nerve block, I'm going to show you everything that I couldn't show you because the video got cut off because um, I switched from using a little Cisco, one of those white little push start, you know, real simple $25 used cameras to an iPad. Um, as many of you know, I, I, I got I got an iPad back in June for my birthday, so I started using this to film. I like it a lot better. It looks better. You can see more of the background, but I am Apple illiterate. So what I, the problem was I didn't understand is when you delete a video, it also has to go, you have to go into your recently deleted and then delete it there. Otherwise, your storage fills up. Well, that's what happened last night is the storage filled up and the video cut off. Um... So, um, but one thing I wanted to um, go over again, because um, I was talking about Stranger Things, the show on Netflix, I was talking about how much I loved it and how it uh, starts out at the uh, Department of Energy and how I work at the Department of Energy. Um, and I just wanted to reiterate and prove that I wasn't lying about that. This is my shirt. This is the patch proving. <laughs> I do work for the Department of Energy. And yes, it does say my last name on it. And that's as much as I can show you. I can't show you my badge um, or, or, or any of that stuff or anything else. I have a federal ID badge as well. So uh, I can't show you any of that, of course, either. But that was just to prove that I do work at the Department of Energy. Um, and I just wanted, you know, I talked a lot about that show. And I also want to mention the soundtrack to that is so good. Um, I'm sure um, once it hits vinyl, uh, Johnny Tez, um will be buying that. He's big into vinyl soundtracks right now, especially horror. And I'm, I, I think all the music for that. At times, it even reminds me of stuff that I might have heard on like Big Trouble in Little China. Um, it's very 80s. Um, so if you haven't seen Stranger Things yet, go out and check that out. Um, so yeah, let's let's finish up what was in the nerd block that I did get cut off. Every if you saw it. If you haven't seen my other video, go back and look. Um, of course, this was already in the last, we talked about that this was in Horror Block. There was three items in here that, that have already been used. Literally, in either Horror Block, this has been used two other times. In Nerd Block and Horror Block, and Nerd Block again, so it's third time using it. Um, there was one of these plushy Jokers from the new Joker. It does look pretty good, and it is pretty detailed. Um, then there's uh, one of these blind mini bags, uh, Attack on Time Fall, which I could give a shit less about. Um, and I don't know if I showed off. Oh, and then there was the exclusive Harley Quinn keychain, which I think I might keep. And then I went over the shirt in the beginning. Oh, it was a Ghostbusters one. And so um, it was. This was crap. This was, and it was really good that this wasn't my last nerd block, and it was complete shit. So it kind of reiterated the fact that. I needed to ditch that and horror block is the only subscription box I have now I'm going I'm thinking about trying BAM box one time just to see what I think um, and uh, big old box of stuff I'm thinking about trying out as well maybe uh, one or the other but this one is um, butcho vision uh, this is my butcho vision haul uh, Johnny Diaz did a butcho vision haul video and where he got a bunch of pins from Butcho Vision, so I thought, well, I'm gonna shoot over. I, I don't collect pins necessarily, um, but I thought the pins look really cool, so I wanted to check out his website. So I went there, and not only does he do pins, he does stickers, patches, but he also does these like I guess they're acrylic or some sort of vinyl type material figurines he, he makes, like like Anthony Rapino does with his Candy Corn Apocalypse. And so I was like, I started looking at these figurines. I was like, oh my God, this guy has so much cool shit. I mean, if you're into Bob's Burgers or old school, he, has, he does like old school WWF wrestling stuff, um, Simpsons, horror, Bioshock. Like, I mean, just tons and tons. I mean, he has tons of shit. Um, so I did, I got, this is my first Butch O-Vision uh, box. Um, his stuff is very reasonably priced. Uh, shipping was three fifty for this whole box. Um, he only takes PayPal, but if you have PayPal and you have a debit card that you have added to your account, 
you can just use your debit card. He shipped it. I ordered this on last, I ordered this, this is Monday. I ordered it last Wednesday. He shipped it out Thursday and I got it today. So this guy is really awesome. So let's dig into this. Now, low key, don't make any sudden moves. I see you down there. Let's get this puppy opened up. All right. I ordered two things from him, two figurines. Well, he really taped this thing up good. Um, I'm really impressed. I mean, if, if everything in here is, is the quality that I saw on the website, I shouldn't be cutting right into my gut. Like, I would really suck if I cut myself, gutted myself on camera, bled out here. Wouldn't that be horrible? Or amazing, either way. Somebody's going to win or lose in this situation. All right, so let's get into this. Oh my God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my God. This kicks ass. Here, look, you can play with that, but don't eat it. Um, so there's a little card in here. I think it's a little, little kind of like a postcard. And there's kind of a sample of all of the, I, I would say before I show this again, I don't, I wouldn't look at this guy as like a pin maker or a toy maker. This is guy is like an artist. This guy is like, uh, Shepard Ferry, or if you're familiar with Ron English, which I'm a huge fan of Ron English. Um, if you don't know who Ron English is, look Ron English up right away. He's been around since the 80s. He's one of the first pop artists to sort of mash up pop culture and throw it back in your face and be very political um, about it. Um, and, and these would go along with like people like... Uh, um, Banksy and, and Shepard Ferry and, uh, and all those guys. Um, but yeah, this is some of the stuff that he does. Um, and he does pins or stuff on the back. It's called Death Mates. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh my God, he like... <laughs> okay, so I ordered two things, but he threw in a bonus item. A bonus like, oh my God, like three bonus items already. Oh, this, I'm already like so fucking in love with this this company. Okay, first of all, he does he does like these old they look like old tops baseball cards, um, and they're in actual baseball card sleeves, um, even. Um, one is Michael Simpson, which is the mashup of Michael Myers and um, Homer Simpson, and it's even got like stats on. <laughs> Did you know Michael Simpson was rumored to be Homer due to obsession with donuts? And these, dude, this seriously looks like, and I can actually tell you the year, this looks like 1987 Topps baseball cards. He threw in that one, the Slobs Burgers. And like I said, it's got stats on the back. And Jesus, Jesus Crust. So he threw in those, but not only that, he threw in another free, because I did not order this, he threw in another free slobs. This is just the white vinyl. So I'll get into this a little more. It's really hard to see, but this is his slobs burger um, vinyl figure. Um, it's just the white edition. I think these are so you can paint it. I'm not that talented, um, but these are super high quality. Like this is just like a Titan or like the garbage pail um, Funko stuff, but he just threw this in for free. I, this was not part of my order at all. He just threw it in for free. Um, and then let's get to the two that I did order. Oh my God. Okay. So this is the Michael Homer or Michael Simpson, um, and this is, the, it, it actually, I didn't think it would come in a box, but it does. He's got his own boxes for it. The box looks all vintage and like beat up, as you can see. Um, oh my God, this is so cool. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna pop this open. I don't wanna bang up the box too much. 
it's, I didn't, I, you know, as you guys know, I'm an in-the-box collector, but I did not think this would come in a box, actually. I, I assumed, and this was, um, oh, let's see how the price is. This was $16.66. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious. Um, oh, my God. This is so high, high quality, guys. I don't. I, I think I'll probably save the box, but I'll probably leave him out of the box. But look at that. Oh, my God. Like, this is some next level shit, dude. Like, I know that... Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you put my hand up against it, I mean, he's pretty good sized. Um, you know. And, um, let, me, let me see if he... Oh, yeah, he stands perfect. Uh, yeah, look at that, guys. So awesome. The box, I mean, the box does. It looks vintage-y and all beat up, but it's really not. Like, it's just so much attention to detail here. Um, I know that like Ron English is doing these kinds of things, these vinyl figures of his own stuff where he's mashing up like McDonald's and uh, fast food breakfast cereal stuff and weird bizarre shit, but it's super expensive. I mean, Ron English's stuff goes for thousands to, I mean, you can, some of his figurines are the lowest I've seen is around 85 to a hundred dollars. Um, but these were $16 and 66 cents. Um, and, and the other thing I will say is they have, so they have this original one. They had one like this that was just solid gold. One that was like a neon green, like a Slimer neon green. And then they had one that was like a zombie version where he, this was brown and his face was all zombie. Um, I, which I might end up getting as well. The zombie one. Um, and then this is the last um item and it came in its own box too and it looks so fucking cool oh holy shit wait before i show up right in the bottom was a little pen and i'm gonna take it out of the bag i'm really impressed i'm set thank you so much johnny taylor if you guys go to butcher vision i'll leave their link below they are amazing i don't the guy the guy is this stuff he has is so good it's a little tiny pin, and this is his logo. Um, let's see if I can get that in there. Good. Let's see if you can see that. That's his little pin, and it's it's you know it's a little backer you know with a little backer on it. It's really really high quality shit. I plan on there will be many more Butcho Vision hauls. Um, I am totally totally fucking in love with this shit. Um, the last one I got was the. The Cheez-Us crust um, comes in his own box. There's the side. There's the back. It's so, and it's so good. The quality is so good on this stuff, guys. I'm not even joking. This one was also sixteen dollars and sixty-six cents. Really fucking cheap. I mean, if you think about a Funko. I just paid, I just paid fifteen dollars for this Funko, fourteen, fourteen ninety five for this Funko, but and compared to a Funko, this blows it out of the fucking water. If this guy isn't huge, huge in the next couple of years, no, low key, that box is not for you. That box is not for you. That's the Jesus Crest box. Um. Absolutely, guys, go check it. Oh, God, this is so cool. Look at this. He's holding a little a little pizza box. It says Pizza Boys on it. Um, really high quality vinyl figure. Really high quality. I mean, look at that. I, I'm just so, so in love with this stuff. This, this, this. This stuff is so much cooler than, I mean, look at this. So I paid like, so I think it came to like $38.68 with shipping and everything. And like I said, he threw in the Slobs Burger for free, the three baseball cards and a pen for under 40 bucks. Like, 
No, no, little kitty. No, no, no. Sorry, little kitty is very interested in the box. Um, so yeah, I got all that, guys. Look at these. I mean, these are super, super high quality. Go to Butcho Vision. I will leave the link up below. Like I said, he he doesn't he doesn't ha he had some other vinyl stuff. A lot of like there was some Bob's Burger, Homer Simpson stuff. Go look at his vinyl stuff. Lots of patches. Um, lots, like I said, lots of stuff. If you look on the card here, I'm trying to see what else like he's mashing up. Some Star Wars, um, Rick and Morty. Um, stuff from House of a Thousand Corpses. Some some Disney mashups, like some really twisted darks mashups of like that. The one I wish he would have is the vinyl figure. It's a uh, Homer with a like a he's like in a donut inside a donut. It's, it's the Michael Homer or Michael S Simpson. Um, and he's and they do have the pen of that. He has the pen of almost everything here and the sticker. I think I'm gonna get some of the stickers and turn them in. I wish he would do magnets too. Uh, I think that would be really great. Um, but yeah, guys, that is my Butcho Vision haul. Really great stuff. Um, you will probably see me order many more of these. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, sorry about the video last night, but there's the rest of it. I have figured out my iPad issue, so hopefully that will stay resolved. So we'll see you later, guys.